Uh, just minutes ago, Speaker Paul Ryan advising members on that conference call this morning to do what is best for their district. Also saying he will spend his energy now making sure Hillary Clinton does not get a blank check with a Democrat-controlled Congress. All right, I come out to you with the news of this, and apparently he jumped back on the call, Bill, and said this does not mean that he is unendorsing Trump. Your mm -hmm. thoughts? Well, it's obvious that the Republicans think Trump's going to lose. Or the Republican hierarchy thinks he's going to lose, uh, and that may well be the case. However, last night in the debate, he, Trump, stopped uh, the catastrophe for the moment. And I think he did uh, as well as he could have done uh, under the circumstances. But let's face it, um, if the Republican Party loses the House, and that's Ryan's um, responsibility, then if Hillary Clinton is elected, the country takes a radical turn to the left. What do you hinge the sudden back and forth now with Paul Ryan. I mean, well, it's all on the tape. It's all on this tape. That's what the whole thing is. And the debate last night for the 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes, mm -hmm. that was uh, about that. So they feel uh, the Republican hierarchy never liked Trump to begin with. Never. Mm -hmm. All right. They feel that he's not, uh, I don't know, responsible enough, maybe that's the word, to, to be president. They don't say it because the Republican rank and file of folks voted for him. So they don't want to go up against their own people. But it's clear the Republican hierarchy doesn't like Trump.